The rebel army was getting closer to the capital, with many rebels getting more involved with looting and pillaging villages and concentrating on their agenda to take over the heart of Kashmir, Srinagar. At Uri, Brigadier Rajinder Singh, who led Jammu and Kashmir state forces, was killed. He and his colleagues will live in history like the gallant Leonidas and his 300 men who held the Persian invaders at Thermopylae, writes VP Menon. Uri's battle holds significance as it likely helped Maharaja Hari Singh avoid capture and bought the Indian government valuable time to bring in more forces. They held back thousands from the rebel army, ensuring they did everything they could to deny entry into the valley to the rebel forces. After the battle, the tribesmen travelled down the Jhelum River to Baramulla, the valley's entry point. Flushed with victory, the tribesmen got down to wanton looting and arson. They plundered the state armory, set entire markets on fire and looted their goods. They shot everyone who couldn't recite the Kalima, and many Muslim women were enslaved, while many others jumped in the river to escape capture. Sheikh Abdullah, as the head of the emergency administration on November 16, 1947, said, What happened in Kashmir adds altogether a new pattern of perfidy. Those tribal Pathans equipped with mechanized weapons of war scooped down on us not merely as bandits but as a centrally directed force with the avowed object of subjugating our land to the vassalage of Pakistan at the point of the gun. They are criminals before history who exhorted these invaders as the liberators of the people of Kashmir. They violated and abducted women. They massacred children. They even dishonored the Holy Quran and converted the mosques into brothels. The streets were littered with signs of mayhem. Broken buildings, broken shops and furniture, the ashes of burnt goods and dead bodies, including those of tribal fighters, state soldiers and local men and women. With more than 3,000 deaths and countless rapes, the bodies of the dead could be seen floating in the river. Kashmir was now war-torn and in desperate need of help. 